Good morning, good morning. Crystal and Anthony with you. The rental market is tough, Crystal. Yeah, we see posts on everything. Townsville, all the local groups, just people desperate at the moment to find a place. People are couch surfing, staying mm. with family. So what's the answer? Okay, well, we got Ellie and Tash here from uh, Experience... Uh, excellence. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't go. Oh, no, excellence I can't. property. Excellence property. It's all right. Leave it to me. I mean, first up, ladies, thank you so much for helping my dear friend Anthony find yes. a home. You guys were awesome. Oh, it's Honestly. caused him so so much stress like tash has been amazing you you're thank you. a, a lot of help yeah. and um awesome thanks no no, no it's, it's it's you guys have been great and it's a tough thing like i was just saying to crystal you know i thought i'd, I'd have some like pull in this town i'm like oh, i do <laughs> breakfast radio no one gives a crap right it's it's a hard market um to find a rental and I, I, just straight up i want to ask you a question ellie like it, it, and this is, I don't know if you're allowed to tell me the answer to this. <laughs> She's like, what are you going to ask? <laughs> because I, I, I've got a dog, right? And yeah. I know that most properties in Townsville are, you know, pet friendly in uh, quotation marks. But if someone is applying for a property that has a pet and someone that doesn't have a pet is applying for that same property, does the person without a pet have preference? It really depends on the owner of the property and okay. what their preference mm. is. Because at the end of the day, we have to call them and... I guess, get it approved by them. Um, internally for our agency, we don't judge it based on whether you've got a pet or not. We look at it as an all-encompassing thing. Okay. So, you know, what's been your history in rentals? What's your income? What sort of pet is it? Is it suitable? Mm. Yeah. Um, and the way that I explain it when I'm trying to, I guess, get it across the line with owners and educate them is... Um, obviously, you and your partner have good rental history. You've had the dog for a while. There's been no problems. Yeah, so okay. you guys would be great right. tenants. But can you imagine two 18-year-old boys going for the same house with no rental history and yeah. two big dogs? Like, yeah. you know, or even if they don't have any dogs... Mm. Yeah, you know, totally. Way an unstable application. I, I'd rather have a day. dog in the house than an eighteen-year-old boy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No offense to eighteen-year-old boys, by the way. So, what are some tips if people are applying for rentals and they're struggling? They're just not getting the call back. What are some things they can do and change when they're applying? Yeah, absolutely. Do you want me to go? Um. So, with the application process, just making sure that you have pretty much everything squared away, ready to submit it. All the actual answers, you answer every yeah, question. Yeah. answer every question, a make sure everything. your supporting documentation's there. Yeah. Make sure it's neat and tidy. So one of the funniest things we get is someone takes a photo of every <laughs> single document <laughs> oh. and sends it all on a separate email. <sighs> oh. It makes oh. our job really hard. It does. Um, and that delays the process. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's like, yeah. here's my application in 84 separate <laughs> emails. <Yeah. laughs> Can you spend the next hour just compiling that for me? Um, and oh. um, actually, Tony, up to the inspections so yeah. like most of the time people will book in and confirm that they're coming and then they don't rock up even if it's like a one or two people it's just like wasting our time is yeah. that like a do you get like a, a red mark on your name for that is that something that goes it, down i definitely take that into consideration mm. it's like well if you like can't make time piece of crap <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to your references is yeah. there certain sort of people you should go for? Like if I went for my uh, my mate Bob, who uh, I went to high school with, am I less likely to get picked based on that? Like compared to if I picked, say, the general manager of the radio station? Yep, you're spot on. So we want someone who's got a non-biased opinion of you. Right. Or has a, I guess a standing in the community where they have to have a non-biased opinion. So if you can put down your boss... Someone you put down a, your boss, me, Anthony, on your <laughs> reference. <laughs> um, my boss. And, like, <laughs> my thorn in my side. That's what you want. <laughs> put that on your application too. It's funny. It'll yeah. stand out. Um, no, and just like, you know, if you know someone who's a police officer or you've got a friend who's the head of a church or okay. a principal of yeah. a high school, that's, that that's, makes that's sense. the sort of people that have credibility in the community. They're the people that we want to hear from because... Crystal, I guarantee your best friend would tell you tell me that you're awesome. Yeah, that's so true. I never <laughs> thought about that. I never thought about that. And and this didn't happen with you guys. Uh, seriously, no BS. You guys were brilliant to deal with. But other real estate agents, like I'd apply for a place and I don't hear nothing for a week. Mm -hmm. And I call and I say, I applied for this place. I haven't heard nothing back. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, we haven't picked it up yet. Is that BS? Have they picked it up yet? Or have they just got a better applicant? Um, oh. it's, 
Ooh. it's like a hit and miss yeah. because we have um we've got like a one business day return yeah. so even if we've received it we will email you saying we've received your application we'll let you know if we need anything further well, that's great that's why you girls yeah. yeah. well, we yeah. appreciate we've got, it we've got really good administration support too yeah. like, you awesome. can imagine tash and i are on the road all day so we we're not at our laptops processing them. We've got a really good admin team that helps keep people In up saying to date. that too, like because I'm out all day, I would actually take my laptop with me yeah. to keep it um, efficient oh. to make sure I am continuing Brilliant. doing what, well, I, what I my love job it. is. Ellie I love and Tash it. from Excellence Property, I got to say thank you again. You've really taken a massive weight yeah. off my dear friend Anthony's no, shoulders. Thank you. And thanks for answering these questions. I know a lot of real estate agents won't ever tell you the answer to this, but you <laughs> yeah. guys have given us the inside, Joss. I love it. 100%.